Namaste. Welcome to Brahad Mradang. My name is Nivedita. Today is Mahashivaratri. So I thought, why not talk about how Goswami Tulsi Das Ji, through Sri Ramacharitmanas, tries to resolve the differences between the followers of the Vaishnava and the Shaiva traditions, and how this effort was important for the consolidation of Hindu dharma at the time when this Mahakavya was written. And even otherwise, the power that the two deities share for each other is just beautiful. In the Balakanda, in his conversation with Rishi Yagya Valkya, Bharadwaj Rishi says, Santat Japata Sambhu Avinasi, Siva Bhagavan Gyana Gunarasi. So everyone worships the immortal Shiva. But whose name does Shiva chant? In whose name does Bhagavan Shiva give Upadesh? Shri Rams. So Pirama Mahiva Muniraya, Siva Upadesa Kina Karidaya. And then there is the description of the emotion that wells up in Bhagavan Shiv's eyes when he sees Shri Ram. Samma samaya tehi rama hi dekha upaja hi ati harasha vishesha. And Bhagavan Shiva further says, Jasu katha kumbhaj rishigai, bhagati jasu mein munahi sunai, soima mein ishta deva raghubira, sevat jahi sada munidhira. So the one whose katha Bhagwan Shiva narrates to Rishi Agastya that Raghuvir is Bhagwan Shiva's Ishtadeva. And not just this, when Bhagwan Shiva narrates the occasion of Sri Ram's birth to Parvati ji and how he hides himself in the streets of Ayodhya by taking a human form and along with Kaag Bhushundi, he goes to watch the Bala Leela of Sri Ram. Notice the love and the reverence he has for his Ishtadeva. Auro ek kahau nij chori, sun girja ati dridh mati tori, kaag bhushundi sang ham do, man jaroop ja nahi, nahi ko, paramanand prema sukh bhule, vithin phirahi magan man bhule. But this love, this respect, this reverence is not one-sided. It is reciprocated by Shri Ram and Sita ji. And the reciprocation is not an isolated incident. It continues throughout the Mahakavya. Let's see how. Right in the beginning, Sita ji prays to Shiva's beloved Ma Bhavani to bless her with a Suyogya Vara, the right husband. Gai Bhavani Bhavana Bahori Bandicharan Boli Karajori Jaya Jaya Girivara Raja Kishori Jaya Mahesha Mukhachanda Chakori. And during the Dhanushi Yagya, when Sita ji looks at the formidable Shiva Dhanush, for a tiny second, she is worried for Shri Ram. And she again prays to Mahesh and Bhavani. Manahi mana manava akulani, ho prasanna mahesa bhavani, karahu saphal apani sevakai, karihitu harahu chapa garuai. Later, while leaving Ayodhya, when Shri Ram commences the 14 years of exile, he seeks the blessings of Ganapati, Gauri and Girish. Ganapati Gauri Giri Sumanai Chale Asis Pai Raghurai. And after he crosses Gangaji, once again he prays to Ganapati and Shiva before entering the forest. Tab Ganapati Siva Sumiri Prabhu Nai Surasarahi Math Sakha Anujasiya Sahitavan Gavan Keen Raghunath. And during the Setu Bandha episode, in order to seal his victory over Lanka, when it comes to the traditional prayer, what does Sri Ram say? Karihau iha samhuthapana, more hridaya paramakalpana, lingathapi vidhi vat kari puja, siva samana priya mohina duja. There is no one as dear to Sri Ram as Bhagavan Shiva. And this beautiful relationship continues. So Sri Ram has gained victory over Lanka and it is now Bhagavan Shiva's turn to bless him and to sing his glory. This is what Bhagavan Shiva says. Mama bhirakshaya rakhukula nayak, dhritvara chapa ruchira karasayak, anuja janaki sahita nirantar, basahu rama nrapa, mama ura antar. Then he takes leave, saying that he will be there in Kaushalpuri for Sri Ram's coronation. Nath jabahi Kaushalpuri, hoi hi tilak tumhar, Kripa Sindhu Mai Aub Dekhan Charita Tumhar. 
and when Sri Ram is coronated as the king of Ayodhya, Bhagwan Shankar arrives. Bayanate sunu sambhutaha, aaye jaha raghubir, vinaya karata gad gad gira, bole pulaka sarir. And then there is this chand where Bhagwan Shiva sings the glory of Sri Ram. Jaya Ram 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 Nam Samanam Bhavatap Bhaya Kulpahi Janam Avadhes Suresh Ramesh Bibho Saranagat Magat Pahi Prabho It's in the Uttar Kant if you want to read the whole Chanda. It's beautiful. After this, Bhagwan Shiva goes back to Kailash. Barani Umapati Ramaguna Haraki Gaye Kailash. Imagine the positive impact this would have had on the Vaishnava and the Shaiva Sampradaya when this Kavya was, Mahakavya was written. And imagine the impact the unifying ideas of this Mahakavya can have on us today if we read and imbibe them with faith and devotion.